Hi friends, a starry moment. This is a male moment. Um, <laughs> I had to bring out the camera because I, I want to share, uh, boy, highs and the lows and the news and the <laughs> and whatever is going on. I, I just feel really compelled to share. And, and today is sharing the mail because so many of you have continued to reach out and, oh, just bless me. Uh, and I just, I really want to acknowledge that. And the reason why I want to acknowledge that is because, and this goes back to my accident. Um, when I had my accident, I don't know how many letters and um, cards and gifts, they, it kept coming in. It was, you know, all of it was delivered to the hospital and it didn't stop. Uh, people at work, uh, my boss would come and deliver the mail. Um, and she just shook her head and she's like, Starry, this is unbelievable. We're getting inundated with hundreds and hundreds of cards and letters and packages and homemade items and, and the, 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 the things that people sent. And um, even now I have all the boxes of all the cards and letters and even now, every now and then I'll go back and grab some cards and, and uh, send a letter out reminding those people who reached out to me um, not just how much it, it, it touched me, but how important it was in my journey to hear from them and be comforted by them and how important that is that we as believers um, do that. It only takes a minute and it can really change somebody's life. It can really um, help carry them through and it doesn't take much of an effort to do that and that's why like every now and then I will send off a, a letter and I will remind those people that your words didn't fall on deaf ears your card didn't go unnoticed and to cling to that generosity um, because you can change the world you can change a heart with just just a letter, just a card, um, just an uplifting comment. So that's why um, I wanted to grab the camera and really share because I'm sitting here. Um, I've got um, a little bunch of letters. Okay, but before I share some of the letters, uh, I'm just going to share like 102 because I'm just starting to open it. And, you know, I don't want to be crying on camera again, you know. <laughs> But here's my, my post office story. Okay, get this. So um, after I put up my divorce video, um, I, I left my uh, P.O. box in there in case anybody wanted to send a letter and contact me. Um, and and, and my, my P.O. box. I, I love my P.O. box number. 1812. The year of 1812. I think it's significant. I, I think something was going on in 1812 because it actually stuck in my head. Um, I really should look that up. It's like... It's like a historical date. I can feel it. Um, but anyway, the year 1812, P.O. Box 1812. I went to the post office, uh, I don't know, maybe about a week ago after all this started transpiring. And I thought, you know, I'll check my mail. And, and, uh, and I opened the box and it was empty. And I thought that was kind of strange because people did say specifically, like they, they sent me um, messages on Facebook and said, oh, I've got a story for you. I'm going to send you a letter and I'm going to send you a card. And uh, nothing. Uh, that was strange. Went back again on, on Monday. Thought I'll give it a couple other uh, extra days, and went back on Monday, and it was empty. Uh, so it was just yesterday that I uh, was in town. I was actually went out for a paddle, <laughs> the first paddle of the year, and I swung by the post office because I had to fix a change of address card that they had messed up, and. Uh, I'm up there talking to the, the postman about that. And he said, oh, by the way, you know, just so you know, um, your post office box was due. I said, really? I said, well, that probably explains why I'm not getting any mail. And I said, when, when did this happen? He said, oh, it's been a couple weeks. We, and, I, and then I said, um, well, how would I know if it's, if it's due? Do you tell people that it's due? Like, how do you tell them? He says, well, we put a notice in your box. <laughs> well, you know, a notice in the box. And when it comes due and you don't check your mail, they just they just take your mail. Because I said, well, what? he says, oh, and you have lots of mail. 
And I'm like, what do you mean I have lots of mail? Yeah, yeah, you had lots of mail and we sent it back. I said, what? You know, this is, this is, this is how my life is. This, this is how it goes. You know, if there's going to be a starry moment, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to happen to me. They're going to send the mail ba back. You know, the, 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 the notice is going to go into the mailbox that I never check and they're going to lock me out of it. And he says, yeah, I'm surprised you can still get into your, your post office box. It's crazy crazy so I'm like laying on the table because I'm, I'm 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 upset because people were going to send me their letters and um now I really feel bad and and I said what happens to that ma does it go back to them he says yeah it goes back to them and I said do they have to pay like to send it back oh yeah they have to pay again well, then I felt bad. I, I just, I just felt bad. I felt, and I'm laying there on the counter. I'm like, oh, this is awful. And then the other post, other lady comes, like, she's, she sees me and she's, oh, oh, oh. And I look at her and she says, we have mail for you. She said, we got a stack back here. I said, what? And the guy's like, I, th I thought you sent all that mail back. <laughs> she's, no, we didn't send it back. We got it right back here. <sighs> wow, God is so good. <laughs> He didn't send back my cards. In fact, I have I have a, a little stack here. He did not send anything back. Um, the post office didn't send anything back. So apparently, they did not send anything back. And I have my cards, and I got a I got a, a box. Um, oh, it's a beautiful devotional, which I just started reading today. Beautiful. So thank you for that. I re I received. I think it's called the Pearls of Peace. Beautiful. And I'm just starting to read my letters. So, but, but there, but the, look, look at, look at, look at how I had to get there, you know, just, just can't be easy. Um, but I wanted to share, I, I just started looking at the mail here and it's coming, you know, from, I got uh, some from Iowa, um, Pennsylvania, Montana, um, Spokane. Look at this. North Carolina, um, you know, beautiful, beautiful card from Ohio, um, and one of the first letters I, I, uh, you know, uh, opened up was from uh, uh, Kathleen, and she's actually from North Carolina, and it just, oh, I just loved it. I, I, you know, this is what I'm talking about. Um, it doesn't have to be a letter, but when when people are hurting. Um, and remember this in, in your life, too, your daily life. Pay attention. Um, it goes a long ways when we reach out. Um, it goes such a long ways. I mean, sometimes you may not understand how much a thoughtful word can help. Um, and, and sometimes we'll, we'll, we may never get that feedback, that reassurance that it made a difference. Uh, but But... All our good deeds, I think, are recorded in heaven. God sees our heart. He sees us reaching out, and that's what he wants us to do. And even if the person doesn't acknowledge it right away, or you just never know um, what they did with it, don't stop giving. Don't stop um, reaching out. Trust me. Um, during my accident, um, that's what got me through. But um, here, here's the, I'll just read it to you and um, share this one particular. It says, Dear, dear Starry, what a blessing you are to so many. I have followed you since the beginning of your Idaho adventure and have learned so much from you about so many things. You have such a sweet, kind, a spirit of kindness, love, and encouragement that pours out of you so freely. Please know and always remember that you are loved and prayed for by thousands of us out there. It seems that the more we stay in the Word, try to learn and walk the Christian path and shine a bright light into this dark world, the more difficult our earthly life can be. Your light is very bright. You have an army of believers lifting you up in prayer. Be encouraged and not afraid. Um, when I read that, when I read the written word, it really um, makes me realize uh, you know how loved I am and the people that have been praying. 
pretty powerful. Um, and then she gave me Isaiah 55, 12. You will go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and hills will burst into song before you and all the trees of the field will clap their hands. And then Isaiah 46, I will be your God throughout your lifetime until your hair is white with age. I made you and I will care for you. I will carry you along and save you. Those are the promises from our Lord. And that applies to everybody, everybody who has come to know him. That's a pretty awesome promise, isn't it? It's a good day. Thank you. Thank you for your cards and your support and your your comments on YouTube and just, just mm, mm. it's good. All right. Oh, here I want to show you. Look. I'm getting my planters out. Back to homesteading in my own way right now. Like I said, you can't take the off-grid homesteader out of me.